Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Lafoning. In this episode, I'll be doing a breakdown of how I created this in Blender. So it's basically kind of like a gribble. It's inspired by JS placement, kind of like a displacement uh, for Cinema 4D, Blender, whatever. So this is uh, basically more or, more, more or less, this is like a gribble. Um, the way I made this is uh, using geometry nodes and default cube or default box of Blender, All right? So this is the default cube that has been scaled, and then I simply scatter all these uh, different type of gribbles into this guy. So let's see. Um, let's really take this apart. Okay, this stuff. Uh, is quite easy to understand so it's basically an instance object so this is like a I'm not using particles it's all just geometry nodes so I have this cube with uh, geometry nodes this is blender 2.93 alpha so still work in progress and I simply have this modifier same thing with this guy the plane just simply geometry node so if I have um, like a torus I can simply like uh, maybe displace it a little bit so it's a little bit fatter and then I can create geometry nodes and simply apply okay it's just giving me that result because I need to I need to apply this displacement maybe and then also need to apply the scaling Okay, so the result is this, which is pretty interesting. Um, we have a lot of control over this. So it's a, uh, yeah, the, the one that's interesting is really actually the, the actual gribble itself. Uh, the geometry nodes that you see here at the moment is just uh, the scaling control and there's uh, this Poisson distance control for the placement randomize you can use, use the C to randomize and then yeah there isn't much there is a um, scaling that I can do to in each and individual instance however this is also pointing to this box eat okay box eat what is this this is a collection of objects. This is the actual gribble itself that I grab that I linked from this OBJ box it. So let's take a look at OBJ box it. So this is another blend files. This is basically the bake version of <coughs> of the gribble. This is what it was before um, before any uh, scattering that I did for any instancing so this is all the small parts of objects and this is also created using just uh, the default cube <clears throat> this one has been remeshed uh, let's see if I want to get rid of this remesh I select one object select all command L link copy modifier <clears throat> now all the modifier should disappear it's all different parts they are all using the same material I just randomized the metallic and also um, for the color I really just randomizing it <coughs> using um, cycles material okay this guy however is also uh, this is like actually hundred variations of of a different boolean and the boolean itself is created using geometry nodes so there there are a bit of process and I'm doing I'm explaining everything backward so I could have like 2000 variations of this box that's has been cut by itself uh, but yeah this is basically the gribble so I did mention uh, JS placement. JS placement is an app where you can actually generate like a displacement um, 
and for example I can give her an example file uh, let's see I have I think on the desktop an example of JS placement yeah this is one example from JS placement it can generate this kind of displacement that you can use to create some kind of gribble my version is probably much simpler and my idea uh, I know it's a super basic however it's interesting if you're new to this kind of thing so I'm using geometry nodes on a basic cube so just basic cube I don't use it for I don't use it with a sphere or anything like that I could try using it with um, an icosphere maybe and see what is gonna happen maybe maybe it will crash I don't know yeah okay this is the result same idea with this gribble inside this guy I have this self self cutter I sometimes I call it self cutter it's like a box cutter add-on basically it's cutting itself using kind of like a <laughs> a box doing a selfie and it's it's got cut by its selfie or something inside this node is a group node where it so we have something like this it's actually quite simple but I just figured it out that we can actually do this so this inside the group node we can see it's a it's the box doing a boolean based on itself right so the boolean is really just the difference the box minus itself that has been did I scale it I think I, I might have scaled it a little bit So it's um it's a box. There's a random float. So this one is this is the secret here. Random float. This is the value that's been randomized in x and y and z, and I combine it, and this is translated slightly offset to the side. I could actually do like some kind of random rotation as well. So we we can have something that's more esoteric and abstract. So this can become new gribble. So you can see it's very easy to create something that's uh, a little bit, that's kind of complex. So this is one, two, three, four, five, five different gribble oh, or five different cutters. And all these can generate um, this kind of abstract looking boxes that's a, a little bit that's something that you can create yourself using box cutter but it's all procedural automatic so in the end um, I simply file export as obj and I know with obj I can export selection only and then turn on animations so it's gonna capture a snapshot it's gonna bake it into separate objects and that's why we can have uh, something like this in the end scattering of all the box this is a preview using EV can create light I think this could look quite nice if I uh, if you also try rendering it out with a with a freestyle you know just to want to get the edges kind of like a anime looking would be good for something like a comic books where you have like a really simple uh you have details of objects and uh, lots of animes actually having this kind of beautiful lines and details so i'm not aiming for realism i i think with uh maybe if i use js placement as extra displacement into this gribble it's gonna look quite interesting so we end up with this kind of a kind of like a box city box building um, I don't know what it's called bio city structure I don't know it looks really complex and our brain is like all right it looks detailed enough and I'm just gonna take it so that's basically a box gribble and everything is created using a simple cube.
Okay, so yeah, it's really powerful. I think it's part of geometry nodes workflow in Blender. Um, even though it's just a simple box, but you can create something like this. Um, and you can do a lot more. For example, for each gribbles, you can really add details, even adding like a human figures or something. And you can have like a like a proper detailed city or I don't know, some kind of organism. All right. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.